guys, welcome to Read Switch Tube. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to make a diode. And I can make it from metal oxide, which is from a blade. Yeah, be careful. This is a broken blade, that's a really old one. And you need a piece of wire to hang it up. Always catch the blade on this end. Also, if you're using a blade, please have adult supervisions with you. And you twist them like that. And here you have the attachment. And get a piece of pliers. Don't always rely on the metals because they can also conduct heat really well. And now, it's ready, it's ready to go. All you need is heat it up on the flame. On the blue flame is the best resort until it's red hot. And here I'm going to put it on my glass stove. It must be, need to be the gas stove. And the other stove wouldn't work that well with it. Unless you have a super high power induction heater. Here is it. And you put it on a really strong flame, and you can hear it whistling, and heat it till it's red hot, probably about like 100 degrees. And the thin pits start to be heated up first, because it's easier to conduct the heat. And when it glows brightly orange, it's red, can be yellow, and means it's really good. even further even more till the whole blade once glowing red super glowing and then you're going to make it in the ear and the air and then shake it about it so to make sure that it can be oxided furthermore and to make sure it don't let any cold spots be happening in the blade that's not a good thing yeah, and then you can see, you can see the flame turning ish yellowish color. Now it's super hot. Like a hundred degrees now, the blade and wasn't sharp anymore, and then you see it's still glowing, and you shake it in the air, let it cool down. See the black stuff? It was the oxide, and I'm not sure what the other part is. And you need to heat it even more again, to make sure it's further oxidized. Oh, the small part always heated up the first, and you're going to hang it in the flame. And you could look closely, the tips is glowing quite bright. Oh, you can't really see because the light. And just be careful, don't burn yourself. That's the reason why I'm using a metal string to help me, even with the pliers, to make sure that I don't get burned. It's heated up super hot. See? Even the camera now can even spot the glowing red. But actually it's brighter than this color because the light source now. You can turn off the heat, maybe heat it up even further more again. Now you can turn off and uh, let it cool. Don't cool it straight down with water, also form the other chemicals, wasn't the metal oxide that you want. 
And here we go is our part one video how to making a diode from home supplies. And in the second video I will include graphite and will show you how to get them. And if you enjoy this video please subscribe and stay tuned and we'll see you next time on the second videos how to making a diode.